that's what it do. Um, you know, it's your boy, man. Coming at y'all real quick. Uh, about to get into this business talk, man. It was Andre Drummond. Uh, this is kind of a response. Uh, what's going on with... Uh, it's not a beef or anything, just so everybody knows. Uh, you can say I'm making a point in this response to this. Uh, you know, for Detroit Sports World, a.k.a. Morris Lewis. Uh, very great YouTuber. Everyday King, who y'all know I associate with at times to time. Uh, another real great YouTuber. Um, you know, it's no secret these two guys got in common that they're Pistons fans. So do I. Uh, Detroit Sports World, man. He he lives basketball, especially out of any of the Detroit sports, man. He loves all four. You know, these guys are real fans. That's what these guys can come to. But y'all know what this is a topic about. Involving Andre Drummond. Should be traded for Bradley Bill. This is a topic that I discussed on my channel several times. Uh, going towards the Motor City Sports Talk. Uh, I had a decent time to hear the side of uh, Detroit Sports World why he feels now all of a sudden that he should be traded. I kind of say that came as a shot to me. Uh, but at least I can say if you look at both perspectives. One, Detroit Sports World, his perspective is that this is transitioning to more of a guard league. A lot of people agree with that. King, his, his perspective is that the, the big man is coming back and that we already been in the guard league. And although he has stated that the Pistons, although guards are very important, he stated that we still need a big man because, and he's right, both points, they have their right. Uh, I'm, of course, am not a side chooser, but I'm going to give my perspective. Nobody's willing to, it seems like everybody is so caught into their belief of what the team should be like. Allow me to kind of, you know, I'm not saying, and, and again, I, if I'm wrong for making this video, for doing this, but let, allow me for a second, just play the referee or mediator. Let me say this. For what you two, I can appreciate, although I don't like to steal, despite what uh, Detroit Sports World told me, you know, a little bit of history, he and I had a little conversation about it. Uh, although I understand his point, I don't still personally agree that we should trade Drummond for Bradley Bill. But what I do appreciate from him is that he's not just, you know, picking at Andre and calling him garbage. He does reconcile that he is a top five big man. Uh, he does see that. It's not like he wants to get traded just because he thinks Drummond is garbage or he thinks he's worthless. He feels that it's for the betterment of the team. At least he gives a compelling argument. That's on what I will tell King on his end, and I'm quite sure King already understands that as well. It's not like Motor City Sports Talks in here calling people trash and just saying they ain't nothing and saying it's all about Blake, Pope Blake, this, Pope Blake, that. He sees the value of Andre Drummond, but I think it is, and this is not ever me disagreeing with Detroit Sports World uh, about his acumen of sports in general. I know this is his business, this is his life, this is what he do. I respect it. Uh, one of my, I'm one of your fans, brother. I still watch the channel. Of course, and I still like the, uh, and I still appreciate the support you guys showing me, man. So, uh, thank you very much, man. To even have that conversation with you was an honor to me. But my thing is, both parties have to realize, man. Even if we get Bradley Bill, let's say that trade did make sense, the Pistons are still going to be a mess, and it's not about who's going to play center. It's not even about that. Okay, you're going to have a float load of guards, and a key component you're missing is all the. You guys hit the nail. We don't have a point guard. We don't have a point guard. So either way, even if we get our, us Andre fans, get what we want and we keep them, our issues are still the same, especially now Ishmael who's gone because we don't have a legitimate point guard that can play to the system. We just got a guy who's a substitute point guard, and outside of that, you get nothing. You got two young guards you're not using. Then when you look at it at this point of view, even if we get Bradley Bill, Okay, people are saying it's going to put more stress on Blake, but it's also going to put more stress on uh, stress on Bradley Bill too, because the fact of the matter now you're expecting this guy to shoot, and I feel like have anybody ever guessed that maybe the Pistons won't use Bradley Bill right? I mean, if you're just going to use him as a spot up shooter, to me that that that's just. I mean, that's just not the way I think I would imagine us using Bradley Bill. This guy is a, not just a shooter. The guy can create his own plays where he can shoot the ball. He can shoot it from anywhere. He don't just sit there and shoot threes all day. The guy can shoot the two-pointer. The guy is a good pure shooter. The guy averages 20 points plus a game, man. And so you have to figure out how you're going to properly use him. And expecting him and Blake to kind of play Bill and Blake ball, that to me just wouldn't balance the team properly. Man, because you still don't have a point guard.
So it's like to me, regardless, if we didn't have Andre, even if we never had Andre, if we had Trey somebody else and it was easier to get Bradley Bill, Pistons will still be lopsided regardless, man. We can have Bo Wagner, we can have some other no name center out there. We got Bo Bomb, bro. And our issues will stay, stay the same, even if we did find a way to get Bradley Bill, because we don't have a point guard. This is why I've been for a while screaming Trey Burke. You know what I'm saying? Trey Burke. Trey Burke is not the greatest point guard ever existing, but he might be the closest thing to the realest point guard since the, or the guy who played with Drummond in the beginning of his career, or, or maybe Brandon Jennings. You know, I, I watched DJ Augustine the other week, and I was looking like, damn, I wish we could have kept him. Personally, I would love to, I would have took anything to keep DJ Augustine right here, man. To watch him develop, but he, I guess he was kind of young. Pistons didn't really have any faith in him. But the guy got better, you know what I'm saying? Then, of course, you know you had Spencer Dinwiddie. We see how that ended. At the end of the day, it's proven no matter what, man, you can get all the talented shooters you want. The Pistons ain't going to be lopsided regardless, man, because we don't have a point guard. Nobody's looking at it deep, deep enough in that end. We need a legitimate point guard. King has made that more noted. Y'all, I'm sorry. You could literally get a real good point guard here who, who even if he's a street shooter, but let's say he's a good facilitator. Let's say he can float the ball, find a big man so good, and, and just call the floor, you know, make cuts that makes key plays at the right time, even if that means he only averages 12 points a game. He can actually service Andre Drummond and help this team out just that much more better than just having somebody spot another shooter. You wonder why? Because you can even make the case that Reggie Jackson should be playing a shooting guard role because his mind, like I think Detroit Sports World, you said it yesterday. I think you said his mind is more to score than it is to, you know, call and set plays for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? He does it time for time with the pick and roll. I am and Andre, that was the flow of the team before Blake Griffin got here. But at the end of the day, like you said, Jackson is a scorer, man. This guy likes to shoot the ball. He likes to jump in for layups, do his little hooks, lane shot that he does, cuts. This is guy is a shooting guard. He should be helping a point guard push the ball of scoring. He should not be playing point guard himself. That's why I always call him a substitute point guard. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they showed it. And yes, they also showed that we need Andre, man. You know what I'm saying? We were at, we were up in that game for a good portion. Every time Andre, Reggie Jackson out the game, the score kept creeping back up until eventually they took the game away. That, was, that loss was due to coaching and, 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 and not having your right guys out there, man. That bench did horrible. Uh, LeBron James was looking like LeBron. I mean, I said LeBron James, but that's because I was about to mention him. Andre Drummond was looking like LeBron James in the finals. Every time this guy sat down, here come Golden State just taking the lead. They down, then they the dropping Cleveland down 15 points, and now they got now he got to come back out there try to win him back in. Guy can't get no rest. That's exactly what scenario Andre was in yesterday. You can't say the rebounds ain't important. That's what that's what always made the Pistons struggle with the Spurs back in the day. When we would go against them, it wasn't just because they was a tough team. They had a good mastery of rebounds, man. Rebounds are important. People don't think. Look, Bradley Bill, you can't stress him out and expect him to shoot down there 30 points a game just to give us a chance to win. That's putting too much stress. you got to have somebody who can relieve you of that, who can be dominant in that paint when you set him up. He don't. A center don't always got it to me to be able to set his own plays up. If he can be there when a point guard needs to lean on him, that's his job. Control that paint. Make sure nobody don't press you too much. Drumming the defense has improved every year. This is why you keep him. You need to find a point guard before you find anything else. Realistically, too. Because even with, even if we find, let's say today or tomorrow we did make a move for Trey Burke and we got him here. Who's, he needs to start. Because, again, I think Reggie Jackson should be playing shooting guard for one. And, two, even if we start Trey Burke, who the hell is going to come in for Trey Burke? Jose Cauldron is horrible. Jose Cauldron is so bad. Yesterday, Bruce Brown looked, played more like a point guard than he did. Bruce Brown was finding Andre, finding other people. He had probably his best game statistically yesterday. I think he had about 10 plus points and like fastest assists or something like that. The guy has been, that guy had one of his best games low key yesterday, bro. And they got wasted because of guys like Jose Cauldron. John Lure, you have no bit, you have no backup big man to help out, and y'all, a lot of people beat me down because I said I wish we had Anthony Tolliver back, man, because Anthony Tolliver was was responsible for coming off that bench, and giving you twenty points every now and then, and some rebounds and a few assists, hitting some wide open three pointers and playing some defense. He did give you that, 
Eric Morland did get rebounds. Eric Morland at least did that when he came off the bench for Andre. It was times that we used to leave Andre out for a nice minute because them two could carry help carry the load. And that was even before Blake Griffin got here, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, it's piss I'm not saying, Brad, if we get Bradley Bill, I'm perfectly fine as long as we don't have to give it to Andre. If we get him, I have nothing against that. The problem is, I don't think we should be trying to get any hot shooters until we get a point guard or two. Because until we get that spot, we go be in the same predicament time and time and time out. We don't need to be getting rid of nobody that helps this team like Andre or Blake until we get a legitimate point guard in here. Something, the closest thing you can find it to. Because right now, we suffering without Ish. You ain't playing nobody young. And people say, well, Kyrie Thompson is not a real point guard. I don't care if dude come off the bench and comes down and shoot an open three. That would be more service, serviceable to us as a point guard than what Cauldron has done. I was dead. Man, when I see Cauldron play, I be wishing Bino Udriff was back, bro. And, he, and he's not, and he's probably no better than Cauldron, but he still did. Not still slightly better than that guy, dude, man. Like, until we, we need a point guard, that's where I'm at. The league is already in a transition of a guard, but the big man is coming back. You In this league, you cannot stand a chance to win basketball games unless you have a point guard and a big man. That's how it is. All this stuff in between, you can sort that out and however you want to do it. But unless you have a legitimate point guard and a legitimate big man, you can kill that. You ain't got nothing to work with. That all starts at that center. You got that when you had when we traded for Ben Wallace, we eventually would get Chauncey Billups. Then uh, we get everything else to lead to get us to Chauncey. And you know what I'm saying? Him and Chauncey were the identity of the team. Chauncey with the brains, being taught the game, had you know Larry Brown influencing him how to properly play the game. Then you know Ben Wallace with the monster defense, the connection those two was able to have. That's what helped influence everybody else. How we got everything going. That scheme. And those players, how, how hard they were and how well they were able to connect was what helped us get to the championship, man. Yeah, it's not about how they got them. To me, it's more lines, the vision of the team that came. You have a vision. You know the guys are there that you need to help build this team. In this case, right now, Andre and Blake Griffin, you know the one thing is missing. It's the point guard. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen after this season is over. This is still, to me, not Dwayne Casey's team yet. This is Stan Van Gundy's team. He's doing whatever coaching he's doing to try to help steer it into his. But in order for this to be his team, he has to start. Him and Stefanski got to come together and start making moves, man. Uh, the right moves, man. The first thing, primarily, is get somebody as a, as a point guard and get somebody to come off the bench as a big man because you have nobody behind Dre and uh, Blake. You have nobody. You got bad contrast behind those guys and they're, and they're not contributing to do anything and this is that's the issue this is the ultimate issue not Andre Drummond Andre Drummond needs to stay until further notice if you can't get him a point guard in the next few years then you trade him because you obviously have no intention on building a winning team and you're just wasting him at this point if you trade Andre to watch the Wizards he's going to benefit better probably than we will because he'll be in a system where somebody will try to find him a ball you know what I'm saying? John Wall don't want no other guard competing with him for his job. He want to be the it guy. So he's going to, he'll probably be welcoming to have a big man down there to uh, catch rebounds and put things back up. That's not the issue. He doesn't, Andre does not have to create his own place to be dominant, man. You even said it yourself down there. You called him a top five center. You know, and to King, you know, yeah. I, look, I, I agree 100% with you on this, Andre. You know that. Uh, but I will say this at the very least where he had, there, where Sports World does have a point, and I'm quite sure you agree. Pistons, as much as they should get credit for winning championships uh, and stuff like that, you got to call the neck down on coffee, man. Dumars has fucked up sometimes, and then it, like, it's Stan Van Gundy coming here just that mess. Tom Gores don't know what the hell he's doing. And I think he did make that note, but I'm just saying, if Sports World does have a reason why he probably is in panic, like I said, give him credit for at least not, I guess if this means anything, at least give him credit for not just saying because he thinks Andre is trash or this and that. He just feels like, you know, because he's our one of our best assets that most teams probably will want in the trade, and he feels that to get a good player, you have to give up one. He does somewhat have a point. 
but at the same time, I've seen teams give up literally nothing. I mean, literally everything. We just saw Kings give up DeMarcus Cousins a couple of years ago to the Pelicans, and they got literally, what, a draft pick or so? Like that. I think, what, what did they end up doing with it? Didn't they get uh, the rookie, uh, the guy that's been shooting the ball for them a lot, a lot lately? What's his name? Uh, uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about, their point guard. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it, it still, that was still, to me, a bad trade. They, they, that showed that they was in rebuild mode. The Pistons not in that position. They still have a chance to make the playoffs. They only, I think, one seed out of eighth, uh, which is bad. But I think uh, Casey, more than anything else, would need a point guard. And Casey has to get his coaching better. He has to get his lineups better. I'm tired of seeing uh, Luke Kennard. He's starting off too hot. Then you bench him for too long. And you got Langston Galloway. He's not able to give nothing out today. But then, like, they, then the other way around, you'll have Langston going off and Luke Kennard can't give you nothing. But you got, you know, Kennard out there too long and it's not working out. Then Reggie Bullock is out there probably not offering up. But you, but then some reason you leave Stanley Johnson out there, there the whole game who probably was heating up. And especially when it came to the fourth quarter when you could have used him, he's not even getting any minutes at that point. You know what I'm saying? We that that stuff right there, that's the reason why we also losing, because that's that's on the coach. That's not people that understand it. that's on the coach. That's not because we don't have Bradley Bill and Andre just can't get it done. That has nothing to do with that people. That's why your boy King is out here spazzing like mad as hell, because it's like y'all don't see it and then it's like this man, Andre, keeps constantly getting the blame for it. So it's like it's time to leave him alone right now about trading him. You need to be finding a different way to get a point guard. I don't care who you give up. You can give up Reggie Bullock, Lance Galloway, and a first-round pick. If, 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 as long as it's a point guard that can come help this team out, it'll be worth it, man. That, that's all I got to say about it. But, you know, uh, I'm not trying to make this video too long. I just wanted to put this out there that we need both the big man and the point guard. That was my whole point of this video, to say that both are have their rights. And if they just need to kind of come together and understand that it's not Bradley Bill to need to be traded here is that we need to find a way to get a point guard. And I think that's what King was trying to say. Is I don't think he's saying that Bradley Bill is trash or anything less than Andre, despite Andre being an all-star player. It's just that that's not our prime need. Our need is point guard. You know what I'm saying? It's not that the guards don't matter in this uh, league, man. We need a point guard. Golden State can tell you that. You know, they, they still hurting right now, and they got Curry back, man. So, you know, but anyway, man. Uh, shout out to Detroit Sports World, man. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, anytime if I get to even speak to you, man, it's always a pleasure. Uh, you know, King, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing your thing. Don't get discouraged. Uh, and y'all leave in the comment section how y'all feel, man. All the fans out there, all the Pistons fans, stay diligent. I know it's rough, but right now we need to be getting out to Casey. Time to get your game up, bro, because you, uh, kind of making it stink around here, man. I got to be honest with you. Uh, shout out to everybody. Drop a like, man. Hit the sub if you haven't. It's your boy, no, man. Shout out to those two. Subscribe to those guys if you haven't, because if you ain't, you're missing out a lot. Peace.